It is early June and I've come out to one of my spots to prep. What I'm going to do today is to set up a mock scrape and licking branch in this spot right here. What is a scrape? Well, deer, typically bucks, will want to leave their scent behind to let other deer know of their presence in the area. They do this by rubbing scent glands near their eyes on low-hanging branches. These are their pre-orbital glands. And then underneath that branch, they'll scrape up the ground with their hooves and then urinate in that open patch of dirt. This is a scrape. Bucks will do this to mark their territory, but also does and fawns use these as well as a form of communicating to the rest of the herd of who's in the area. Think of it like dogs and a fire hydrant. So making a mock scrape is a great way to see what deer are in your hunting area, but also it helps pattern their movement by enticing them to use this communication spot that you've created for them. Now that we know what a scrape is, let's make one. What's nice about this spot, it's a funnel. We've got trails coming down off this ridge, that funnel right to this tree, and we've got prominent trails coming down off this ridge. If you're gonna make a mock scrape, it's best to do it near where there's naturally occurring deer movement, so on or right next to a trail, and also in an area that you plan to hunt. Ideally, it's within a comfortable shooting range, so if you're archery hunting, it's somewhere around that 20 yard sweet spot. So what I gotta do next is I gotta find a nice vine for this particular height and I've gotta somehow get up there and tie it off. So then take a branch or a vine and hang it low enough so that the deer can rub their face on it without too much trouble. Somewhere around waist high is good. And you want something with a little weight to it so it has resistance as they rub their face against it but not too heavy or too thin. Somewhere around an inch and a half in diameter is good. I got this baby fastened with some paracord. Now I'm just gonna make a scrape right underneath this and uh, should be all set. So then just kick up a patch of dirt under the branch that you hung and make sure that there's no debris or obstacles that the deer could potentially bump into while they're using the licking branch. Looks pretty good to me. And once the patch is clear, you're gonna wanna start it with some sort of scent of your own. The easiest thing to do is just to urinate in the dirt. I know it may sound counterintuitive, but trust me, it absolutely works. There's also all kinds of products out there for mock scrapes, and I've been using Scrape Fix. It's a synthetic powder, and it works wonders. And that's all you have to do. So just hang up a trail camera and then you can see what comes by. Deer will investigate out of curiosity and then hopefully add their own scent to the scrape. So this particular mock scrape was my most productive. I had deer all summer and into early fall using this mock scrape. So hopefully this is enough to get you started, but if you want to learn more about mock scrapes, and there is more to learn, I would check out Whitetail Habitat Solutions. Uh, Jeff Sturgis there, he is a wealth of knowledge, and he's been doing these for a long, long time. It's um, where I picked up all these tips, so definitely check him out. I just wanted to share what I've learned and my success through making these. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.